In 2019, the Indiana Fever had one of the worst flight travel days in WNBA history. As they left from their game in Seattle and arrived to the airport at 7.45 for their flight at 10.30 p.m. to Atlanta, that had a one hour layover, then going back to Indiana. But their flight was delayed until 11.30 with mechanical issues. Then they were finally able to get on the airplane at 12.50 and they arrived in Atlanta at 8.30 a.m. But because they missed their initial flight, that means they missed their connecting flight to Indiana. And there were no other seats available for their 18 person party as it was an entire WNBA team trying to travel back to Indiana. So these professional athletes had to get on a bus and travel eight hours from Atlanta to Indiana but that isn't the only crazy part of this story as the bus had to stop to switch drivers as eight hours is too long for a bus driver to drive that long and during their trip their bus had mechanical issues by the time these athletes arrived back to indiana it was 22 hours before their next game against the minnesota Lynx at home this is just one simple story about the absolute mayhem that is the wnba collecting bargaining agreement and we're going to be talking all about that and more so make sure to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down because it's your thumb and let's go ahead and get into it the WNBA did get a new collecting bargaining agreement in the 2020 season. One of the first things that this new collecting bargaining agreement helped players was a salary increase. As for core players, their salaries now are $215,000, which is a $100,000 increase from the previous collecting bargaining agreement. And the minimum salary increased to $57,000 for players with no experience and $68,000 to players with experience. And the title core player has even been changed in the WNBA. And this title is more like an NFL franchise tag where it is applied to superstars to really limit them going to other teams and making that super team that you see a lot in the NBA. And this tag can now only be applied twice to a player, which previously it could be applied four times. As well as players are now able to negotiate trade bonuses in their contracts. One of the biggest issues aside from just general pay in the NBA has been the way they deal with the off season. As a lot of these players who play in the WNBA, this is their side hustle and playing overseas is their main job. And this is why the new collecting bargaining agreement increased a marketing bonus. And this gives each player in the WNBA $250,000 to basically not go overseas and help market and gain more attention for the WNBA. And to also help with keeping players not going overseas, the WNBA has increased their revenue split with players. As in the previous revenue split, players only got 20% and now players get a 50-50 split. And one of the most interesting new things that came into this new collecting bargaining agreement in the WNBA was their travel to away games. And this mainly comes down to hotels and flights. As before this collecting bargaining agreement, players had to be seated in coach on commercial flights to get to their away games. Now the collecting bargaining agreement allows players to be an economy plus or comfort plus and that allows them to only have two seats so no one would have to sit in the middle. As well as their hotels, players get individual rooms and previous to this, they had to share rooms and individual rooms were reserved for veterans. Now, all of this flight drama really got heated up in March as we heard about the New York Liberty getting fined. And the reason why they got fined was because as the owners of the New York Liberty, Joe Sy and his wife paid for the team to take a trip over Labor Day weekend to Napa, California as a team bonding experience. As players like Dee Dee Richards and Sabrina Ionescu posted on their TikTok and social media pages about how much fun they were having in Napa and the New York Liberty paid for their team to have chartered flights for the second half of the 2021 season to their away game. The team was fined a record $500,000 but that isn't even the crazy part as they were trying to give their team charter flights. 
The league talked about giving them a million dollar suspension as well as taking away every single draft pick they had for the upcoming future and even getting rid of the New York Liberty team. And the reason why the New York Liberty's owners were fine is because the commissioner and the league said that this was giving the Liberty a competitive advantage against other teams. That isn't even the crazy part because yes, they were given a competitive advantage as they had charter flights and no one else did. But the size went to the WNBA meeting on a September call and proposed that they had a sponsor to comp every single WNBA team to have chartered flights for the next three years. But majority vote turned down this chartered flight option for every single WNBA team. And after that call in October, Joe Sy went to Twitter as we all did and really confessed his anger toward the league as this was during the time his team was being investigated for these chartered flights. And in those tweets, you can see here that he's talking about the lack of equity into the league and how Really, it's insane that none of the older owners really want to invest into the future of the WNBA. And the WNBA commissioner came out with a statement after Joe tweeted those tweets and said that it could cost the WNBA $20 million a year to have chartered flights for every single team, which is even more insane as the WNBA claims they have no money. But in February of 2022, the WNBA received a $75 million investment and is now valued at a $1 billion company. Even when that investment was weighed, the commissioner made a point of saying that this money will not be going to having chartered flights for their athletes. Well, now that you know so much about the WNBA collecting bargaining agreement, make sure to check out this video right here where I talk about Athletes Unlimited, which is really taking a new take on professional women's basketball, as well as make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video, which are on Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Leave me a comment down below telling me how do you feel about the WNBA flight situation, as well as give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down because it's still your thumb and remember don't be afraid to join the combo in 2019 the indiana feeder in 20